Good morning everyone, Gadget here with another video and another Capture One Pro tutorial. And in this video, we're gonna talk about layers. Yes, layers inside this raw processor. Let's get this started. Welcome back everyone, and if you don't know by now, let me remind you, I'm creating a catalog, a library of Capture One Pro tutorials. The goal is to get you armed with all the information you need to get started, but also take your work to the next level. This is the raw processor that many professionals in the industry, commercial shooters, commercial photographers use for their work. And I wanna make sure that I do my part to let you guys know how easy it is to get started, but also how powerful it can be for your library of work. So with that out of the way, let's talk about layers. In this, you have the ability to create layers as you might be familiar with in Photoshop. I have this image in front of me right now and this is the starting point. So I can go under white balance and it seems a bit warm. I can cool the image down a bit. That's a little too cool. And bring in the greens a little bit so we get to a normal place that we like it. I can go into our dynamic range, boost the shadows a little bit. Let's actually go under noise reduction and we'll zoom in a bit. And you can see it's a little bit noisy here. So let's actually boost up the noise reduction in our luminance and a little bit in our color. And you see it's a little bit of clean up there. Now I would spend a lot more time fixing this image, but for the sake of this tutorial, let me show you what you can do. We can go into, for example, styles here, right? And you can go in and get the Capture One Pro styles. I don't use them as much. I may have been a little trigger happy and bought them all, but uh, I like to use them as a compass to kind of see what feel works with an image. But every now and then I do like what they look like and I'll use that style that they have made. A lot of times though, I will try to create my own style, but now say I like the look of this style here. Cinematic number six, I can apply this to a new layer. And when I go under the layers tab, you see that this adjustment now, this style of preset is sitting on a separate layer. And as a result, I can go ahead and change the opacity of that. So this is at 100%. If it's a little too punchy, I can bring it down. Let's say maybe around 70, but that's not all. I can go here and create a new layer and create an empty layer. Let's call this mask, all right? And I can choose this tool hit the M key so I can see my adjustments. It's gonna bring up a brush and I can start to paint in my own mask. So for example, I wanna make a local adjustment that's only gonna impact the eyes of our model here, okay? I don't want it to impact anything else. I just wanna work with the eyes. And again, I wanna do as much as I can before having to go to Photoshop and maybe even not going to Photoshop. So from here, I see my mask selection, not the cleanest, but again, this is for the interest of time. I can hit M to get rid of that and I can go in and use those same tools to make adjustments. That looks a little ghastly. Let's bring it down to 50 and you actually see your adjustment on a separate layer. But that's not all. You can actually go in and create another empty layer and you can draw in a linear or radial mask. So if I wanna go and create a linear mask, let's say for example, I just want it to be from here, hit mask, sorry, hit the M key. And I can go in for example, and bring down the exposure. So it just cuts out all of that noise on the left side of that frame. So it's just the model here. And let me show you a quick before and after, but you know, this is where the image started with and just within a few minutes, this is where we ended up with. I'm still not happy with it, but for the sake of showing you what layers can do really quickly, a lot of versatility with this tool. Thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in starting Capture One, there's a link in the description. And if you do decide to purchase, please consider using my code, first name, Gadgen. It really does help support the channel. It really does make a difference. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.